Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Take two, the first video did not have any sound. Coin market cap prices. Everybody wants to know what's happening. Why are the prices going down? Now the reason for being for this it is the fact that the coin market cap has decided to exclude the Korean exchanges uh, from their list. So if you go to let's say Bitcoin 14,945, you click on markets and you then go down to Bitcoin with the Korean one, you can see a start next to the price. First of all, you can clearly see the price is a lot higher than the rest of the markets, 21,842. And the Korean markets are well known for this. So going right down to it, you can see the start stands for uh, price excluded. So this is the reason for uh, the prices on the coin market cap to be lower than usual. However, some people are uh, suggesting that the cryptocurrency market prices are going down because of coin market cap excluding um, Korean exchanges. I don't think this is the reason. I honestly think, uh, you know, one, the markets uh, are down simply because people are cashing out, taking some profits out. And two, possibly people are panic selling due to the news of coin market cap excluding the Korean markets, but nothing else. Uh, by not having the Korean market price, I think it's a good thing actually, because this is more in line with the rest of the uh, sites like the coin market, such as WorldCoin Index. You can see here, let's refresh. The price of Bitcoin is 14,685. And on WorldCoin Index, I like to follow it because it's more live uh, quicker than coin market cap. This to me, it's the more accurate price than this. But you can imagine if the Korean market uh, was included, what would be the price of Bitcoin currently shown right here. So I think it's a good thing. But remember guys, don't panic sell due to a uh, little news, a little foot out there. Uh, that is what personally for me, it is driving mostly the price down and not the fact that the prices you are seeing on the coin market cap are going down because of the exchange being excluded. They are displaying lower prices, but these minuses right here are driven by the news of that and also possibly people cashing out, taking profits out. That's, that's, that's my opinion. If I'm wrong, please feel free to share with me what's your thoughts in regards to this. Now moving on, which I think it's a more important news. Of course, this is very important seeing the market going down. It's not a nice thing, but hey, it's market ups and downs. Uh, this will continue. Binance. It looks like there's an issue with Binance. Um, first of all, I made a video in regards to the fact that they stopped uh, accepting new accounts. Early on today, they allowed new accounts for a very short period of time, but it looks like they are having an issue. And this is why I even said on the previous video about Binance, it's a good thing that they've stopped new accounts so they can, you know, make sure they upgrade the server, upgrade the site so it can handle the traffic. But it looks like already we are seeing trouble. Lots of people are reporting you know, problems with orders, insufficient balance, or let's see, order failed. What's happening is you place an order, it shows you that its order is failed, but then uh, insufficient balance when you try to open the order again. So getting this error message when trying to sell LTC, even though I have Litecoin on my account, it won't let me trade it. Anyone else getting this issue? Going back right here, it is quite a huge issue at the moment. Not quite sure what to suggest. Hopefully Binance will be able to get over it quite quickly and fix this problem. First in myself, at the moment, I don't have any trade orders. I haven't tried to trade for the past few hours. So I haven't experienced uh, uh, this issue. But I do remember early on, uh, quite a few hours ago, early in the morning, um, I was trading Verge. And uh, when my order filled up, it showed in the history, but then on top of that, it showed another order filled up a Verge for 783 Satoshi. And we all know Verge hasn't been on 783 Satoshi for quite some time. I didn't think anything uh, of it at the time, but it looks like probably I have seen some signs of the issue people are having. I'm not missing any cryptocurrency from my account. And at the moment, I'm just gonna stay away from trying to place order until I don't see people reporting that it's better at the moment. Uh, well, that is getting better. So when are we going to be able to pay? Uh, so. Binance reopens limited users. Yep, we said about that. So let me see. Coin stuck in trade, insufficient balance. So here it is another one. This just happened with many of us an hour ago. Are we in a limbo? Where is our balance gone? Does anyone have any idea? Uh, this one was short. 
straight to the point cancel sale orders stuck in limbo I cancel my sale order in my coins but I cannot set another sale order because apparently the previous sale order is still in effect according to my wallet uh, apparently this is a lag and should only take about 10 minutes it's been almost half an hour uh, what some users are also reporting is when you place an order uh, it doesn't display it but it's already um, in the account and uh, because you can't see it you can't do nothing with it but then if you try to place another order uh, you can't do so because it's showing you insufficient balance and you are like wondering what's going on if you wait like 10-15 minutes this person is reporting half an hour and nothing the order should appear in your account and hopefully it will fill up and it's quite disappointing because I had the same experience with Kraken uh, where I'm trying to place an order it's not going through I'm trying to place an order I'm trying to sell I'm trying to buy it's not happening and then eventually obviously the price either go up either go down and I miss my opportunity Again, as I said, hopefully Binance will be able to fix this if they haven't already as quick as possible. Cancelled sale, LTC not refunded. Let's see this. Uh, cancel a sale and my LTC wasn't refunded. It appears on my deposit withdrawal page. However, it says my balance is zero on the exchange. Help, appreciate it. Thank you. That's it. All I can say is if it hasn't been fixed yet, if you are seeing issues, uh, stay away from it, uh, give it a time, uh, hopefully we will hear something from Binance and I'm sure if you, if we all of us follow Reddit, people will start reporting if this has been resolved. In the meantime, myself personally, I'm going to stay away from it. That's the update I can give you from Binance. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can come and check out the Reddit. Lots of people are reporting this, so it's, it's uh, happening pretty much with everyone so if you are having this issue you are not alone and finally before I close this video Chinese government is reporting that uh, they will be cracking out uh, cracking down on Bitcoin mining they will be uh, apparently limiting the power supply to Bitcoin mining they want to reduce the consumption of electricity uh, is it another foot from the Chinese government is that also having an effect on the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency possibly we remember what happened last time uh, Chinese government said they're gonna ban Bitcoin ban exchanges the prices immediately sank down then it came back up when the Chinese government overturned you know what they said they're gonna be doing so we may be seeing the same thing um, is that really should be affecting the price not quite sure because um, yes it is inconvenience but I'm sure you can always well if you have a huge farm it's not just easy to pick it up and move it across like if you have a single rig so that could be another reason as to why we are seeing the prices going down another developments from the chinese government so many things happening at the moment from the asian market that are affecting the prices it is disappointing to see but i'm sure we're going to leave another day to see a better days and the market will be back up and running and we're going to continue this incredible journey thank you for watching if i did miss anything to share please feel free to do so down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the channel, feel free to subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.